Welcome to the Johnson Supply Daikin Home Air Monitor Review. The Daikin One Home Air Monitor helps monitor the air quality within the whole home. Working with the Daikin One ecosystem, it detects, visualizes, and supports the action to help you improve the indoor air quality within your space. The Daikin One Home Air Monitor will monitor and learn the baseline air quality in the home over seven days and provide a rolling seven-day average baseline. When a potential particulate and or chemical event occurs outside the average baseline, the system will detect the potential deviation and send alerts to the Daikin One Plus Smart Thermostat. From the Daikin One Plus Smart Thermostat, the visualized estimated air quality in real time directs on the thermostat or on through the smartphone app, Indoor Air Quality Event Monitor. From this option, see when particles or chemicals are elevated compared to the seven-day baseline to help to understand and control your air. The readings will include green for typical concentrations in the home, yellow for elevated concentrations in the home, and orange for very elevated concentrations in the home. With built-in air intelligence, the Daikin One Home Air Monitor and the Daikin One Ecosystem, Provide adaptive solutions homeowners advance through the Daikin One Plus smart thermostat based on air quality alerts. Turn on the furnace or air handler to increase filtration through the high efficiency Daikin One premium air cleaner to address particles. Or turn on the exhaust or ventilation or open a window to help reduce detected chemicals within the home. Measures the physical properties and composition of the airstream using particulate and gas phase sensors, including an optical particulate counter, temperature, humidity, pressure, and VOC sensors. This is the item included in the box. You'll have two templates, two mounting gaskets, the mounting plate, the actual sensor probe, and two self-tapping screws. The ideal location to install the sensor probe sh should be positioned in an HVAC return duct that is in contact with the greatest amount of return air. Perpendicular to the airflow in a minimum of eight inch wide duct, at least 24 inches downstream from flow restrictions, and within range of a home's Wi-Fi signal and near a 24 volt power source. The provided templates can create a hole on either round duct or rectangular duct Draw a line on the duct where the sensor probe will be installed. Cut the hole in the duct with a hole saw using template. Two inch round for round duct, one and a half round for rectangular duct. Attach the appropriate size gasset to the mounting plate. Hold the mounting plate against the duct so the notches on either side of the mounting plate line up with the line you drew. Attach the mounting plate to the duct with the self-tapping screws provided. A dedicated class 2 24 volt AC transformer must be attached from the power source to the power of the sensor probe. Disconnect the power to the furnace or air handler. Wire a class 2 transformer to the 115 volt power source on the furnace or the 208-230 on the air handler. Connect the 24 volts from the transformer's secondary winding lead to the sensor probe. Secure wires by tightening the terminal screws. Insert the probe into the mounting plate until it clicks into place. Reapply the power to the furnace or air handler and confirm the LED on the sensor probe is illuminated. It should be a solid blue. Scan the QR code on the back of the box to identify the home air monitor. And then download the Daikin installer application. Follow instructions to connect to the Wi-Fi. This is the actual box itself, and you'll see all the items are located inside the box as we described earlier, including the instructions in a small packet. It's a closer look at the mounting plate at this angle, a little hard to tell. It does have a flat surface and a rounded surface both, so you have one piece of plastic for both installs. This is the actual working portion of the sensor. Uh, this requires eight inches. It does have an antenna on the one end, and we'll get a better look here. We'll see a much better look at the mounting screws for the wires. They're at a slight angle, very small tip screws. 
And there it is powered up. That's the blue illuminated light. It's an example of both style installations. Notice a two inch hole on the round duct in the upper picture and a one and a half inch on the lower picture. Uh, just for easy to picture, I have put the gasket over the hole. Uh, normally you would mount that to the mounting bracket and not directly on the ductwork. This is the air monitor inserted into the holder in place on a rectangular duct. And here's the same monitor inserted into a round duct. Scanning the barcode on the back of the box will display text showing the part number as it will appear when you use the app to scan for indoor air quality items. Keep in mind when you do use the QR code scanner, uh, it may display advertisements on the scanner that is not Daikin's control. Uh, the software that is asking you to install is not from Daikin, that is from the QR code scanner. From the App Store or Google Play, download the Daikin IAQ installer. Uh, the first time you go in, you'll have to create an account. Uh, keep this on your phone. It'll work for all the IAQs. You'll reuse the installer app on every one of them. Uh, you can go into the configuration and have it remember your login, uh, but please keep the same login. It's going to ask for an email. It's going to ask for a password. When you do create the account the first time, it's going to send you a verification code. You have 59 minutes in order to complete this. It'll send you a verification code and you'll load it in your phone. And this is the sample of the screen. You'll enter your seven digit code and hit submit code. And this is the app running. It will have this appearance. Uh, you'll see the settings. You can enter the settings and you can say always keep me logged in or always remember my account. And on the top, you'll see our install air monitor installation. At this point, it will request the email associated with the house you're in. So the Dica one thermostat will be added at this time. You'll have to ask the homeowner for the email that they have tied to the Dica one thermostat. It will send that email a verification code, seven digits, and you'll have to load that in the app. It'll ask you the one time, once you load it and configure this IAQ product with this thermostat, it'll no longer ask you for that code again. And this is after the code is entered. It'll scan, and there's our D-S-E-N-H-A-Q-A -E that we scanned on the barcode scanner earlier, and that's the one we'll add. We'll hit Add Equipment. If you scan and you don't see an indoor air quality item, you can hit the reset. And this is a sample here. Make sure the air monitor is powered up until the LED light is blue. If it's not blue, reset the monitor. Uh, and it shows you where you can push a little hole there on the monitor to reset it. Uh, if in doubt or the system's still not operating, power cycle all the system. Uh, restart your app, power cycle the Daikin One, and power cycle the indoor product as well. The installer will need to enter the Daikin One setup to continue to add equipment selection. So you'll go back into your uh, Daikin setup and you'll go down to add equipment. And at this point, we'll see air quality sensor. If it does not appear, uh, power cycle the Daikin One thermostat. You can remove it from the wall. You go downstairs and you can cycle the power off and on. Uh, when you do choose it, it won't give you any more options because it's the one item. Uh, so you can go ahead and hit back. Now when you go to the customer screen, you go to the home or any one of the lower five icons, and we'll be able to go to the menu in the top right. Now we have an added feature, system components. Uh, when we go to system components, we'll now see the air quality tab. Uh, we can choose air quality, and it will display the air quality index, particle count, ozone, as well as give solutions to any alerts. And this is an example of the actual screen. And these are examples a customer would see if they go to the uh, last tab, they'll see air quality. When they enter the air quality, they'll see the indoor air quality 
has good, moderate, or action recommended. And they'll see a particle count and the rate of the chemicals. And just a reminder, after the updates of the DICA-1 have been completed uh, in this uh, early 2020, uh, we now have a weather tab appearing. Pushing the weather tab will give us a five-day forecast of the weather. And this relays information from the weather station tied to the router settings. Uh, if you do have a router that may be tied to the internet supplier that's in a different time zone, that may throw, out, throw off not only these settings, it'll throw off the time on the Daikin one as well. Uh, if that occurs, they'll have to contact their internet supplier and they can reroute the settings on the router in order to get on the right time zone. And that's the Daikin One Home Air Monitor. Please contact us with any questions. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.